Hello, I'm Valerie. Hello, um, I wonder if you could tell us what, what you do. Okay, so um, I'm a clinical reproductive scientist and sometimes called a clinical embryologist. Um, so I work in the laboratory with the teams of nurses and doctors um, to provide um, IVF treatment. So part of that treatment um, is I'd be in theatre with the doctors to help them identify eggs. We process sperm samples um, and so we can um, put the eggs and sperm together. Sometimes if the sperm aren't swimming very well, we have to micro inject them into the eggs. And then we create embryos and we look after the embryos while they're growing in the laboratory. And then we try and choose the best embryos to go back to the womb to hopefully achieve a pregnancy for the patients. Um, there's other lots of other parts of the job apart from just, you know, looking after eggs and sperm and embryos. So around the job, there's lots of regulation that we have to be aware of and, and things in the law. We have to understand the consent and informed consent, help patients understand the consent they're giving. We have to manage all the equipment and the consumables or the media we need. So there's lots around the job rather than kind of just sitting in the lab looking after the embryos. Thank you. I wonder if you've got any top tips for becoming a clinical scientist? So my top tips is if, if, it, if you're at school is to really study what you're interested in. Don't think they're specific. You know, as long as you're doing some science, there aren't specific sciences that you need to do, because if you do what you're interested in, that will lead you to where you want to go. So be interested, sign up for articles. Um, there's a very good um, free newsletter you can get called BioNews. You can sign up to that gives all advances in genetics and reproductive science that you might find interesting and it's free. Um, so again, I would just say choose the subjects that you're really interested in, um, because if you don't, it can be really difficult um, and, and the degree or A level can feel like a really long time. Great tips. Thank you. Are there any other sort of careers in pathology in that hospital environment you might suggest? So there's lots of different types of clinical science um, and that currently there's a scientific um, called the STP programme or scientific training programme um, that is run and you can get onto that and that's usually post degree. So you need to have a, a degree in a, in a science subject that you're interested in and then this counts as a master's degree and there are lots of different areas. So in life sciences, for example, there would be clinical embryology or reproductive science, as I said, haematology, which is looking at the blood, immunology and genetics. And then if you're kind of more interested in physical science, there's things like clinical computing and nuclear medicine or reconstruction science again. Um, and then looking at physiological sciences, you may be interested in audiology or cardiac science or even respiratory and sleep science. So what I would say is take your interest, be interested, and somewhere you'll find a niche where you want to go. Thank you very much.